Hello everyone! Today we're going to be playing Professor Astrocat's solar system, and I'm going to be giving you a tour of that solar system. All you need to do to start is hit the start button down at the bottom. Here we go! Select your profile, so this is me here. And we're off on an interstellar journey. We start off at the centre of the solar system with the Sun, a huge ball of nuclear fusion reactions that releases heat and light. To move onwards, just swipe from right to left like this. Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system, is made of heavy metal. Venus is a very hot planet that's a similar size to our own. The Moon is our only natural satellite and we visited it in 1969. Earth is the most dense planet in the solar system, and it's where you and I come from. With the space travel section, we can learn about our journey to the moon. But don't forget, we might be heading somewhere else quite soon. Mars, which is red due to the iron oxide dust it's covered in. Then we find a pretty big gap between Mars and the next planet, Jupiter. This is the asteroid belt filled with both small and large space rocks that orbit the Sun along with us. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system and the first of the gas giants. Next up is Saturn, which is surrounded by truly incredible rings made mostly out of water ice. Then. Uranus, which spins on its side completely differently to the other planets. And the last planet we can see here is Neptune, which is named after the Roman god of the sea. If you were to travel out beyond Neptune, you'd arrive at the Kuiper Belt, which can be seen at the edge of the solar system. If you were to travel even further than that, you'd reach the Oort Cloud. But let's keep things a bit closer for today. When you tap on a planet, you can find out more about it, learn lots of facts, and then try your hand at one of the jetpack challenges. When you're done, simply hit the back arrow in the top right corner. But there are more than just facts to be discovered. If you tap down in the bottom right hand corner, you can bring up your very own experiment and learn more about the size of the planets in relation to each other. By comparing the planets to common fruit, you can get a much better idea about the size of them and the difference between them. For example, Jupiter is as large as a watermelon, Saturn a large grapefruit, whereas Uranus would be an apple and Neptune a lime, and Mercury would be a tiny peppercorn. When you're done, simply return to the solar system with the arrow in the top corner. We're not done yet though. If you zoom out, you can see the whole solar system in its entirety. And if you go a little further, you'll discover the entire galaxy. Our galaxy called the Milky Way, because of the milky, cloudy appearance it has in our night skies, is what's known as a spiral galaxy, with long arms that you can see here. And we're actually out on one of those arms, quite a long distance away from the centre. Lastly, to see your progress through your space training programme, you can tap up here to bring up the options panel. From here you can control the sound, view your medals, or simply return to the home page. And that's it! Thank you for exploring the solar system with me and Professor Astrocat today. Bye!